this afternoon I'm going to be doing a movie review. This movie is a drama from Belgium. This is spoken in the Flemish, Dutch and French language with English subs, released in the year 2011, directed by, by Michael R. Roskam, and this film is called Bullhead. So Bullhead is about the beef trade, basically this cattle farmer named Jackie, his family owns this business, where they basically do a little bit of naughty things. Basically what they do is inject their cattle with these steroids that make the beef a better quality. So they're not supposed to do this, but this is how they make a lot of money. So there is actually a little bit of conflict within the beef trading because uh, there are other families that are competing. So it actually turns out to be a little bit of a mafia type of uh, syndicate they've got going. So Jackie is the enforcer. He's this bulking, you know, um, a huge man that's very intimidating. He's kind of like the standover man. And he is doing things for his family, but he is very torn up because something in his past has happened that has caused him to be the person that he is. So on the outside, he feels very tough, but on the inside, he's very vulnerable. And when he meets a, a woman from his past, this further complicates matters. So on one hand, you, they've got the family trying to stay afloat. Uh, there has been a policeman that has been killed by one of these mafia families, so the heat is on them, and they're really trying to make ends meet. But at the same time, Jackie really has to come to terms with his past, and it's threatening to basically tear him up. So what happens at the end is something you're going to have to find out for yourself, because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Bullhead. I'd never heard of this film until recently and after watching the film I can't believe that not a lot of people talk about this movie because this is one of the best character studies I have ever seen. And I don't say that lightly. I've seen some pretty good films that really show you, you know, the human condition and how you know, the past can come back to haunt you but I haven't seen many films that have done it as well as Bullhead. So ultimately this movie is absolutely depressing. It is a, a, an extremely emotional film and you'll get so much connection with the main character and that's down to the fact that Matthias Schoenartz has just delivered an incredible performance. I don't know how he didn't get uh, a win an Oscar for this film. You know, this nominated for the 2012 Best Film of the Foreign Film you know, Academy Awards. I don't know how it didn't win because this movie just hit me on so many levels. It goes for two hours and there are a little bit of a problem with the continuity, which is something I'll go into a little bit later. But the positives is that, as I said, for a character study, you really need a, really, uh, a very interesting character that you want to know more about. And that's exactly what this director allows you to do. It allows you to get into the situation at the start of the film, this uh, guy named Jackie, he's this massive guy, he's a very intimidating, very violent man, and he can just flip out at any moment, and at the start of the film, you just think that he is just a psychotic person, but when you get an insight into his background, you can understand why he is the way he is, and you actually really like him, because you feel so sorry for him, that this guy never had a chance. The event that took place in his childhood was just so traumatising, that it would transfer anybody into the person that he is, so instead of just giving you a stereotypical tough guy, it's giving you a reason why this guy is a tough guy and it just does it so well it goes into flashbacks but then it goes into present day and then all of a sudden you just get so much of a connection with Jackie and that is thanks as I said to Matthias Schoenartz's performance I think this is one of the best performances I have I've seen in film it just captures a guy that is so torn up you feel that on the outside he's this massive bad guy and he's trying to convince himself that he's that massive bad guy but the problems in the past are really tearing him are tearing him up inside and you can sense that inside he's even trying to look the other way He's trying to forget his problems, but his problems are always uh, catching up to him and it's shaping the person that he is. And you feel that he's just on a downward spiral. You know, he's injecting himself with steroids all the time. And you feel that, yeah, on the outside he wants to be a man, but on the inside he just doesn't feel like he had that the, the fairness. He didn't have a fair go. He didn't really have an opportunity to have what other people had. And you can sense that that is contr um, contributing to his frustrations with the world. So although you're not condoning it, you feel so sorry for the guy. And I just think this is one of the most haunting films I have ever seen. You know, this movie, it is about the beef trade and you know, they, they're doing really bad things in order to get you know, ahead of their, their competition. So on the one hand, you've got this type of mafia film, although it's not a typical mafia movie, it, it is a gangster sort of film. But that is really the, the second sort of, it, that takes second fiddle, that plays second fiddle. The, what you really want to know is about this character of Jackie. But the beauty of the film is that when Jackie's not in the film, you're still interested by this sort of side story of this meat tray and how, you know, this police officer was killed and who is responsible for it and what's going to happen to all these people involved. So you've got these very interesting side characters, but fortunately, as I said, the main character is by far the best part when he realizes when he meets up with the girl of his past, you sense that he wants, as I said, he wants to be like everybody else, but this, this movie does show you that sometimes you can't outrun your past demons, and that your demons can always control you, and that's unfortunately the case for Jackie, and that's what makes it just so sad, and at the end of the film, I just thought that was a perfect way to cap it off, and I just thought this is one of 
the best films I have seen in the last few years. Yeah, the cinematography is excellent. I, it just captured a very dark underbelly. It actually felt like a gangster film, but at the same time, it just felt like a very dark uh, character study. And it doesn't really get sidetracked in what it wants to do. You know, it has two sort of stories, but they really combine very well, and it actually feels like it's a very fluent piece. So unfortunately, the problem is, although the movie is absolutely brilliantly acted, you know, the cinematography is excellent. It is a violent film, but it's not gratuitous, although there are some scenes that will hit you very hard. The director doesn't want to provoke you in what you see he's just trying to slowly creep under your skin and I thought that he did the job well in Bullhead but unfortunately as I said it goes for two hours and this is where the continuity kind of holds itself a little bit in that the second half when you actually get an insight and you feel that something is absolutely building up and it's going to go over the edge at the end, you feel that there are little gaps where the scenes are a little bit played out for their own good. It actually feels like you're nodding off a little bit. You're threatening to nod off, but then something catches your attention. And then you threaten to nod off and then something grabs your attention. And I just felt that with a little bit of editing, you wouldn't have that nod off sort of stage. It's that you feel that, you know, that it is dragging a little bit. It feels like the scene really isn't going anywhere and it just needs to be cut a few minutes before it actually is. That's the only problem I had with Bullhead. Other than that, this is a fantastic European film where uh, Matthias Schoenarts delivers one of the best performances that you will see. It is absolutely heartbreaking. It is a very challenging film and uh, it is a movie that a lot of people should go out there and see. So overall for Bullhead, going to give it four and a half stars. Go out there and see it. Alright guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. So next time you watch your movies, I'll see you later.